Just as advertised last night, we've been stuck with some low clouds across portions of southeast Nebraska throughout the day, and that has really held our temperatures down. They've been stubborn to break, but we are starting to see some signs of that beginning to happen. Now, the Tri-Cities, you're talking about talking what clouds because you've seen a lot of sunshine throughout the day. But here's the reason we've been stuck with these clouds, especially over the Lincoln area. Temperatures typically, uh, as you go up in altitude, start to drop. Well, at the surface right now, we've got 47 degrees. Now, as you climb and go higher in altitude, as you get to 3,500 feet above the ground, the temperature is 27 degrees, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. But going further aloft, uh, we've got a layer of warm air that is stuck in there. So between 3,500 feet, it goes to 27 degrees, but then it starts to warm up 5 degrees to 7,000 feet. So it's this layer of warmer air aloft that is trapping in the moisture at the surface. Once we start to mix this air, we get rid of this warm layer, we'll start to notice the moisture lifting and we'll start to see skies clearing. And that is starting to take place already into portions of the state. You got to go west of Seward, west of Crete, out towards York and again the Grand Island, seeing some sunshine today. Now there are some higher clouds beginning to move into the area right now. It's just not those stubborn low clouds that we've had stuck over the far eastern portion of the state and uh, it goes all the way up towards Sioux City down through Lincoln and Beatrice and eastward and you look back out to the western part of the state and we've got much more clearing. Now the clouds have held temperatures down around the city for the most part we're sitting in the mid 40s right now. Airport getting a little sunshine so temperatures have popped up to 47 degrees and as you go further to the west temperatures start to warm. It's 47 degrees in Seward. It's 46 in Milford but look at Utica coming in at 49 degrees and it's 50 in New York and we go even warmer as you go further west. It's in the 50s in Grand Island and Hastings and even up to 60 degrees in Kearney. Go further to the east towards Nebraska City, it's only 41 degrees. So nearly a 20 degree spread from the Nebraska Iowa state line out towards Kearney. Now winds remain out of the north northwest fairly light today, five to 10 miles per hour, but that's still giving a little bit of a wind chill. So it feels like it's just a tad cooler in both Lincoln and in Beatrice. For the rest of tonight, as skies begin to clear, our temperatures will drop. We're not gonna drop terribly bad. Uh, I think we'll see lows mainly into the low 30s to uh, right around to freezing. Now we may still have a few gusts at times to 25 miles per hour and that could produce wind chill values in the upper teens to low 20s if you're going out at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Now for tomorrow, Stormcast suggesting a few uh, light sprinkles possible off to the south and west. I think it's a little overdone with the cloud cover. I think we're going to see much more in the way of some sunshine through the day tomorrow. Expect to see mainly sunny skies and temperatures should be warmer. We'll get highs back up into the 50s and near 60 degrees by afternoon, but winds will be brisk. Sustain 10 to make that 12 to 20 miles per hour with gusts at times to near 38 miles per hour. We're looking for a high of 58 in Lincoln. 58 in Seward and 58 degrees in Beatrice. And winds tomorrow will be brisk, as I mentioned. They will be gusting at times as we head through the afternoon hour. So uh, don't be surprised or caught off guard by the winds, especially if you're traveling uh, east or west along I-80, because you may have a crosswind or uh, in either direction for sure. Now, the weekend not looking too bad. We'll see 55 on Saturday, 57 degrees on Sunday. I think we'll see a fair amount of clouds around both days, but it's at least not looking too bad. The real warm-up takes place early next week. When we jump into the upper 60s, on Monday, we can make it up into the low 80s Tuesday afternoon, but then with that, we'll have a chance for some evening showers and thunderstorms coming into the area, and then maybe just some showers and windy conditions and cooler temperatures by Wednesday of next week, with highs right around 50, and then temperatures really hanging out in the low to mid 50s as we head into the beginning of April. And just in time for April, we get some April showers as well, some scattered showers possible, mainly Beatrice and areas to the south for both the April 1st and for April 2nd.